Hello everybody, welcome to Coastal Crafts. Hello and welcome to Coastal Crafts. So I thought I'd show you a few bits I have picked up online um, and possibly some stuff in shops as well recently. So this one is from Crafts Dash. So it's not the most recent hunkadori card making collection, but they have this one reduced to $3.99 on Crafts Dash. So I also have a slight discount when I order using a code from being a subscriber to one of the magazines. So I did that um, and you get free shipping. And I thought I would show you what's in it before I start cutting it apart and using it. As you can see, I've taken it out already. Makes it easier, doesn't it? So inside, obviously, you get the magazine. Um, and I do like the hunky-dory ones, not necessarily the magazines, but the collections, because you get the lovely hunky-dory um, paper packs, which are good quality and make it sort of worth the money. And you get the extra bits and pieces as well. So you can see it's all very pretty spring stuff. Um, but I'm still kind of feeling the whole summer spring vibe going on. Um, then you also get this die. I've got a little kitty cat down by my feet. Do not attack my feet, please. Um, I'm not so keen on this die because I've already got a bike die. So I might get rid of this one in a D stash. But you do get that one. Um, everything else I like. Ow! What are you doing? Sorry about that. <laughs> Mango just climbed up my leg and I'm wearing shorts. Um, it's very hot. Then you get a um, an embossing not a embossing folder and embossing folder of course and I have been enjoying embossing folders now that I've worked out the hunky dory's adorable scorable card embosses beautifully it's like made me have a new love for embossing folders and that's quite pretty if you've got an image in the middle you also get the stamp set which is really pretty I love that banner I love the welly boots and look the cute little furry creatures. They're adorable. So I'll have some fun stamping those ones out. They come in their little plastic bit. And then of course you get the papers and toppers, which is a good wadge of stuff and it is good hunky-dory quality. So it's kind of all a bit jumbled up in here, but um, there's two different collections. Let's have a look. One is the... Happy Days, I believe it is. Happy Days Hunky Dory Collection. So it's got these pretty umbrellas and the bike and things like that. So you could obviously bring the bike die cut in there if you wanted to, but I, should, I don't know if I will do that. But I really like this sort of colour check. That's pretty. That's some toppers. That's the other one that goes with this. Um, and obviously things like the frames are useful with images and the border and the sentiments and you get inserts, I was trying to think of the word, which look really nice. Um, I've got a card here actually. That's one I just made using those plain sailing hunky-dory inserts, you know, adding dies and things on top. And I just think they look really pretty. So that's the kind of thing that can happen with these ones. So you've got that one, you've got the one with the pretty watering can, and you've also got lots of nice quality white paper. Um, are there any more inserts for that one? Can't see, but you get this pretty paper. And although it's shiny, and I'm not normally keen on shiny paper, it's good quality and it's really pretty. And I'm becoming, I'm adapting myself to enjoying shiny paper. That's a nice check. That I think is supposed to be balloons. And that's, I like that. Do I want to call it check? Kind of woven check. There are some more inserts to go here. So there's the one with the, the bike, the one with the welly boot. That's from the other collection, isn't it? Let's find the, some more of the cards that go in there. So there's one of the, the cards. So this is the adorable scorable card that I really like. The embosses really nicely. Um, and that's really pretty, isn't it? It's like, as a guess, I'd say 300 GSM. Love that one again. And the gold foiling on there is really pretty with the bike. And I think that must be the last one with the um, watering can. I can now feel the pain starting to dig in from where that cat just climbed up my leg. You know how sometimes pain takes a while when it's those little kitty claws and then you're just like, yeah, that really hurts. Um, so the second one is springtime. So it's definitely like an Easter one, but I think you could use that. Apart from the bits that say Happy Easter, you could say that at all sorts of times. Look how cute those characters are. I love that one. Ow! I'm doing that again. She is doing that again. Seriously, that hurts, Mango. And there's a chick 
Who has that in the video? Somebody basically attacking them. It's going to be X-rated, isn't it? Happy birthday to you. That's been perfect for my mum who likes sheep. And then you get the, the inserts, the lamb one. Really like that. Love this picture with the bluebell. Love bluebell season. Bluebell season has passed, but love it because you can walk down through the woods and they are everywhere. So the papers, really pretty, really pretty. It's just my kind of colour scheme. That sort of pastels and muted. It's a chicky. That one with gold falling in the nice. I mean, that would make a lovely background, a sort of a sky background anyway, wouldn't it? A little sheep. That one might have to be saved from my mum. This one's random because like a raccoon. I'm like, Hunky Dory's an English company and not being funny, but I've not seen a raccoon wild in this country. I mean, is it some kind of ring-tailed limb with a funny face? They don't live native in this country either. I don't know. But then you could say something. I mean, chicks and ducklings don't quite skip with such a joyous nature. Cute. So there it is. And I, w <laughs> I wanted to go through that before I start card making so you can actually see what it all looks like in case you want to pick it up. Because obviously I've got it at Cardstash for three ninety nine. Um, So... I think there's stuff in there easily worth three ninety nine, even if I don't want to keep all of it. So I also picked up on eBay a Spellbinders Contour Steel Root Wool Die. So I haven't tried this one out, but I can show you how it cuts because it comes with some of the cuts. But this is a steel die, wool die, so um, I think it should fit into my Big Shot OK. And you can cut all these different things. So I like the idea. Um, I like cutting things like fabric and, of course, using it as a, what's it called when you put fabric on top of, um, I can't think of the word. I'm sure you all know what word I'm <laughs> looking at where you put fabric pieces onto other fabric. Um, but it can also be cut out of chipboard, obviously, and have a lovely chipboard that I could decorate up. Or it could just be out of paper and be a cute paper embellishment. And I think that's meant to be the belly. The wing. So if you were going to do this in sort of a patchwork style, I don't really know what that bit's for. Wow, it's noisy outside, isn't it? What is that bit for? Do tell me, because I can't work that out. I mean, is it just like a leaf? I don't know what that bit's for. So that bit, you know, I can tell that bit's meant to be for the tail. Go okay, that bit up. So obviously once that's cut out of fabric and patchwork together, that would be really cute or even out of paper or even out of chipboard. I just can't work out what that is. Um, so do tell me. But yeah, give that a go. I think it's only been used once. So feels nice. Feels good. I'm going to give that a go. I love a steel wool die. And last thing that I picked up for the time being, but I'm going to attach this to another video um, once because I've got some more bits that are coming in tomorrow, I think is just a stamp set because I am absolutely in love at the moment with Crafters Companion Sarah's Signature um, collections. And these ones are the photopolymer stamps from the traditional Christmas. And I just think they would make such pretty designs. And I also really like sentiments. Um, oh, come let us adore him from the, you know, from the carol. I just think that make a nice sentiment and peace and joy and things like that. It's just nice, isn't it? Um, I've got to try this out. We could have a quick stamp, see if it comes out nicely. If you climb up my leg again, Bubs, I'm not going to be overly happy because that kind of hurts. It doesn't kind of hurt, it does definitely hurt. There's no question about it. So I will get out my stamping tool. I will use just a bit of paper, I think, just to try this out. Let's have a quick look and see how it stamps out in case anyone's interested. So yeah, pick this up on eBay for a couple of pounds. They have more on eBay. I have noticed other people selling it. So if it's something that you like, you can check it out. And I'm trying to work out if there are matching dies to go with it because I think that would be cute cut out with the correct die. So um, you may see me in a future haul picking up the dies that possibly potentially go with this. 
And I have done it a few times. First time I've used a um, stamp, so I think it needs to be sort of stamped a few times. But that is really cute. And if it was sort of cut round in the shape of a bauble and then had a bit hanging on it, I just think that's, that is pretty. It's pretty, isn't it? It's pretty. So I'm happy with that for a couple of pounds. I think they're cute. And there we go. So for the time being, that's what I've got to show you, but I will be back to show you more. Speak to you soon. Right, so I'm back with a few more bits and bobs, tucking this one onto the other video I did. So I got some Jane Davenport stuff from Craft Stash. For some reason, they sent them in two different packages, but they were doing 15% off, which isn't lows but I think I felt that I deserved a treat that day. Been doing um the school play and it's quite hectic. That's over now. It was really good. But yeah, that's um been quite full on. So I picked up these two things. What was I pay? Five pounds ninety four for the stamp set, which is called Poppy Girl. And I just thought that's so pretty. Like I love the poppies and I I just like the style of her girls that the people that she does. I think I've got one of her books actually. I think I showed it on a previous haul quite a while ago. Like whimsical girls and drawing them. Which I did have a go at drawing but they were a bit rubbish. But I need to have another go at doing that. So yeah I got that one. And then I got the, the die which is what I'd really wanted because I saw somebody else buy one of the Jane Davenport dies. They don't come like this. So I've just transferred it into one of my own pockets. And I just thought, wow, they come out, they look really beautiful when they come out. I'll just show you what you get. And this was £9.34. So you get that says Muse. So I don't know what occasion that would be for a card, like an artist muse. Look at my hands, that's terrible, isn't it? You can tell I've been doing some creating. So you get the outline and you get the inner bit. So very excited about getting these. I was really excited and waiting for them to happen. And then I got them and I had such a nightmare die cutting this out. It did not want to. You can see how intricate it is. Did not want to die cut whatsoever. And I kind of went off Jane Davenport stuff because that just really annoyed me. But um, I will show you how it comes out. So I did manage to get there in the end. There's Muse. I mean, there's no issue cutting that out, as you can imagine. This is the girl. I wanted to cut it out in black card. Did it want to cut out in black card? No. Sorry about my hair. It cut out not too badly in the gold. I've managed to get glue everywhere. And like I do like that. I'm going to turn my hands this way because it's so unattractive, all that paint on it. Um, see, I do like that. I like that silhouette effect. And then I eventually managed to get another one cut out in the black which was such a palaver. Um, and then I cut out the white background. Oh, that's nice, a bit noisy on his bike. And used my Copics and other, other pens are available to color that in. And I really love that. And I do really like the die. I just, it just doesn't want to cut. And it could be because my die cutting machine is a bit old and the pressure obviously loosens off as you use it. Die cutting machines just with the sheer force of life, that's gonna happen. But I think that's a cute card, isn't it? That paper in the background is, um, bought that when I was in, Mer in America in Hobby Lobby. It's that Paper Studio Petals and Blooms paper. It's really nice. And that's a tonic die to go with it. But yeah, it, it's a lovely, like, the look of the die I really like. It's just cutting it out. It's just been a complete nightmare. And that's what put me off. But there we go. There's that. Then there's a stamp set. And I'd already got put off Jane Davenport by that point. I was like, oh, I don't like it anymore. Um by the time I got around to playing with the stamp set. But there we go, that's what I did with the stamp set. Same paper, it is quite busy. I appreciate that. So the reason I had the flowers down there is I felt, the way it sort of cuts the hair off, I felt that's maybe what it was angling for. I don't know. I don't know, that's kind of cute. It's always something I would give send to a friend and I do think it's cute. Um, but as I say, I've lost my love for it after the effort that it went into die cutting that out. But that's those bits. Got those from Craft Stash and they are cute looking. Um, where shall I go to next? Went into town. Should I go to town? Yes, went into town. Popped into. This is very unexciting. In the works, it's got another one of these A4 self healing cutting mats to go into my die cutting machine as an alternative to die cutting plates. That's not exciting in any way, shape or form. Also in the works, I got the Floral Feelings paper pads. Now I keep looking at the moment and they know they've had loads in before and I didn't get them. But now I want one that's kind of seaside-y and ocean-y just to go with some other bits I've got and now they don't have one. But I saw this one and I just thought it's so pretty. I love florals. 
but I also they like this is perfect for my scrapbooking because when I put pictures on and other elements it can be really busy so I don't want those of patterns so I just wanted some sheets that weren't too busy if that makes sense for scrapbooking and I keep saying for scrapbooking and then how often am I actually getting around to doing scrapbooking not very often but it is really pretty isn't it I don't know how well you can actually see this but you know if you can that's lovely isn't it i love florals and i love watercolory splodges and i think we're at the middle so three pounds i picked that one up um and a random purchase i went to look at the napkins and three pounds 49 you're thinking that is crazy to pay for napkins obviously for decoupage is why i picked it up and i was with mr coastal crafts who said we don't need any more napkins we've got loads of napkins because I have a pack of napkins, obviously I use a few for decoupage and then the rest I'll put downstairs in my car. Napkin section, I've got napkin section of the kitchen, I've sort of do now. Um, don't need any more. And well, I just think that this would be gorgeous combined with some other things I know. Like, I just love it. I love that image and I know £3.49 for a pack of napkins. Do I need it? But that is gorgeous, isn't it? I don't know what I'm going to decoupage with it, but I really like that image. I think it's the same image, isn't it, on the other side. So I really like that. Um, and I'll have plenty to spare. So if you want one and you are doing a swap with me, do let me know and I'll stick one in your package. So I got that. Um, and then I popped into Hobbycraft and got some clay and I'll show you why I got some clay that's four pounds um, for a kilogram I'll show you why I've got some clay in a minute and I also got something which seems really uninteresting so of course I want to show you <laughs> behind me Mango and Bailey are playing so it seems really interesting but I love this tape I bought one lot two pounds for double sided foam tape in black and I love it so much. It cuts perfectly with no glue on the scissors. It is really thin, but I quite like that. Um, and you get seem to get absolutely loads on the roll. Two pounds from Hobbycrafts. I recommend, I really like that. It's like my favorite foam tape now. Really like it. Um, so carrying on, I got this on eBay, I think for a couple of pounds. It's a Sizzix die, but one that cuts um fabric and chipboard not that i'd want to do that in fabric i particularly got it to cut it from chipboard and see being second hand somebody named it helen so either i bought it from someone called helen or they were like what shall i name my die i think i'll call it helen it's a lovely name why not um so this is sort of how it comes out so that's two of them glued together i might put something around the outside and that's that paper from the paper pan i just picked up but the idea being that i have some dimensional frames so might do like a picture in there or might just do something really, something could just be, I don't know. I don't know. I just liked it. I like the idea of doing frames, but I haven't quite got a an idea quite in mind. You know, if it was like um, an object could be positioned in there. It is small. You know, it'd be lovely if it was bigger, but it will still be really cute. So I like that. Um, and I'm happy with that. So what I am moving on to is um, Craft Box UK had a sale last Sunday and 10 o'clock in the morning and I happened to be watching it. It's quite entertaining to watch on Facebook as well. And I got tempted to buy some items. The first thing that I picked up is this bundle of mixed media goodies. This was 4 99 and you get five items so already to me that was a complete bargain and what i thought i was getting was um the crackle paste primer and the crackle paste which i did get and then i thought i was getting a paint a wood glue and a spray um which i was like oh you know i'm not that fussed about but yeah it'll still be a good deal but instead i got two stencil pastes um, one in pearl and one in pearl black, which I'm more excited about because I've wanted stencil paste for a while. So I was really excited to get that. They did say contents may vary. And I got the pearl clear mist, which um, 
I can't remember if that was what was originally in it or not. So yeah, I was really happy with what I got. I will quickly show you. So that bird dye that I picked up, um, that's cut in chipboard. So that's with the primer. So it's had, I painted it in pink first and the primer and then the black crackle paste. And look at that crackle. That is full on crackle, isn't it? So happy, happiness. <laughs> that is um, the stencil place, paste in pearl. Look at that shine. I love it. And that is the stencil paste in the black pearl. Any areas where I've gone wrong, that's just user error. That is the glimmer spray. So yeah, really happy with all of those for four ninety nine. So yeah, that's uh, the crackle paste and the bits. And mangoes come to join in and have a bit of a look. And then to go with the um, clay that I picked up. The reason for getting that was because they had one of these Prima moulds in the sale and these went really quickly, but I managed to get a hold of one. I think I paid £8.99. I've wanted one for ages and this one's really pretty flowers. So I've not had a go yet. I wanted to show you before I ruined it. Um, and we can do some flowers and maybe stick them on top of a box. So like this box, if I was to cover it or paint it and then have some of the the flowers on top I think that would look nice so I will try and show you once I've done those and um, so I was pretty excited about that and the final thing when this video is getting long um is the um just the last quick look purchase this was five pounds as well but I thought I would get some of their little trinkets and these were the vintage seamstress one and ones and obviously I love sewing things so I thought I would pick these up so I've got these four little packages in the, um, is it four, one, two, three, five little packages in the deal. So five for five pounds. So there's that one where you could put a little picture in and hang that. That's cute. And maybe cover it in um, glossy accents because that's what we do to everything. And that one's pretty, isn't it? What do you call those? A cameo. And this I really liked. I thought it had a little glass bit to go with it. I can't see it. I'm sure it had a little glass bit that went in there. So if I've lost that, that's um, slightly annoying. But you could just put a picture in and... Yeah, I feel slightly annoyed now because I'm sure it came with a little glass bit that went in there. But um, such is life if I've lost that. There we go. So that's that one. Then there was a little comb. That's quite sweet. And I don't think this um, little ephemera set was as popular, so I think they've still got this on the side. But that's cute, isn't it? It's very sort of old-fashioned little comb. Um, then these beads, which are really heavy. Not really heavy, but, you know, they've got some weight to them. And they're cute, aren't they? So that's those ones. And then these bits kind of watch handles, clock handles, and a little clock charm. I like that clock charm, I think that's really nice. And then these ones, which are probably some of my favorites, as they are sewing ones, and I love anything sewing, so I love the little tapes. And there's a little sewing machine, so I love that as well. So there we go. So it was kind of an unnecessary little purchase at the end. I thought I would just chuck that in as they were doing free postage. Um, and there we go. That is my haul. <laughs> Apologies that it's so long. I will speak to you very soon. Bye.